About a year ago, guys, I did a video on my three favorite bushcraft knives, which was a response to Dennis at Spartan John's. And as you guys know, things change over time. You know, you use different knives, you fall in love with different things. And I just wanted to do an update, kind of a reboot or uh, my favorite bushcraft knives part two. And just show you if anything's changed at all and kind of where I stand with bushcraft knives here today. The first knife I want to talk about is the Mora Companion MG. This will always be one of my favorite bushcraft knives. This was my very first one. I think it cost me about $15 and it is outstanding. When I first got this, I did everything that people say you're not supposed to do with a Mora knife. Because I was so excited about getting my first bushcraft knife, so I did batoning, I did prying, I did everything that wasn't necessarily what this knife was made for. But it has no ill effects. It still smiles to this day, and I still love using it. It's not as thick as the Mora Robust or the Mora HD Companion, but I actually prefer the thinner blade. It's an outstanding slicer. It's a great carver. Handle is very comfortable. It doesn't have the same palm swell as the um, thicker spine Moras, but I like it. I like the fit and finish and profile of the Mora Companion MG. It's one of the knives I recommend when people ask me what Mora should they get for their first Mora knife or their first bushcraft knife, and I love it. The spine was rounded off. I just took care of that and it's a nice squared off spine. It'll strike a spark with a piece of flint or a piece of chert. And if you're looking for an inexpensive top notch bushcraft knife, I highly recommend this one guys. It comes with your standard hard plastic Mora sheath, which I have never had a problem with. If retention is an issue for you, I have a video where I talk about my retention system right here, this little piece of paracord. So that is my Mora Companion MG, my first bushcraft knife, and I still love it to this day. My next one, which may be my absolute favorite bushcraft knife, is the Mora Classic Number no. 2. This is a Pathfinder leather sheath, which I don't believe they sell anymore. It's a thinner leather sheath that they used to sell for Mora knives, and it holds this Mora Classic Number no. 2 pretty well. I can't say enough about the Mora Classics. Um, I love the birch handles. I love the red paint that's on them. Particularly why I like the Mora Classic Number no. 2, it has a little bit longer of a blade than the Mora Classic Number no. 1 and the Mora 2 Slash 0. So it's a bit more versatile. This is another spine that I squared off. Scandinavian grind. Uh, once again, the birch handles, the red birch handles. And I've done a few modifications on this one. I put some grooves. I used uh, Mora 510 and put some grooves in it. Put a few notches back here just to kind of assist with the grip. I also sanded off the first layer of this red paint because it is a bit slippery. I threw a ranger band up here. Kind of for grip, but when I was carving out these notches, guys, one of the pieces of wood chipped. So I kind of have that on there just to hold that on, but it also works outstanding for grip and for retention. It kind of holds the knife into this Pathfinder leather sheath. I have a patina on there, and I also have a lanyard for no other purpose than if I drop this knife. I just don't want to lose it. That's why I have this high visibility red on there. This is one of my absolute favorites. I love the Mora Classics, guys. As I showed you here a second ago, it will strike a spark. I bring this out each and every time. I don't baton with it a lot. I mean, I will some of the smaller stuff, but I carve with it. 
Um, I start fires with it with the squared off spine. I manually squared off the spine. And I love to hit it with uh, chirp. I love to get sparks off of that and start a fire that way. The one new addition to my three favorite bushcraft knives, I believe these were in the same video last year and that hasn't changed. I still love these just as much as I did then. But now I have the Spyderco Bushcraft and it's an outstanding knife. This one is 01 tool steel. This one is a little bit over an eighth of an inch thick. Um, it has G10 handles. I also have a lanyard, same as my Mora Classic number two. The only reason I have this lanyard, guys, is in case I drop this, I don't lose an expensive knife. I wouldn't say that I prefer this over these two knives. I would just add it to one of my three favorites. It's definitely one of my three favorite knives. This one comes with a leather sheath and it also has a plastic insert in there to hold in the knife, protect the knife. I'm not sure what it's for. But I have a review on this if you guys want to check it out. It's a great knife. Um, I love holding it. I love using it. It feels very good in the hand. This represents everything that a high-end bushcraft knife should be, in my opinion. This one is full tang as well, unlike these two. But the same running theme, guys. They're all high carbon steel. They're all Scandinavian grind, and they're all right about nine inches total about a four inch blade and nine inches overall so that is kind of where i stand on my three favorite bushcraft knives as of march late march 2016. i had a few questions from some new subscribers about my favorite bushcraft knife and or what knife would i choose over another one so i thought i would just do an update on my three favorite bushcraft knives and how it stands today and kind of let you go from there. I appreciate you watching and we will talk to you again down the road. Bye-bye.